Hey, what is up guys? It's Big Peanut, and today I'm coming at you guys with a brand new game called Hob. This is why I've been away for so long, but I'm coming at you guys now because I got the game all set up and I'm ready to go. Don't worry guys, there will be a little bit more to Slime Ranchers, but that game is basically, like, it's basically almost done. Now, something I want to say about this game right now is I've had a lot of trouble so far recording it, so here's what happened. I'm doing a voiceover right now because it didn't record any of my audio, so I can't really speed stuff up or say things at the exact right time like skadoosh and have them go flying off a cliff because it's a voiceover. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. And, yep, there we go. So it's a voiceover. I don't think the sound effects are going to be too loud. I did turn them down periodically throughout the game. For a minute here, I didn't realize the, that I was allowed to actually control him and move my guy, and then I was like, oh wait, there we go. Now, something about this game is it says controller strongly recommended, and I don't have a controller for a Steam controller. They're like 50 bucks. My older brother said I should wait till they go on sale from like 50 like to, to like 30 or something. And <clears throat> so I don't have a Steam controller, and this game is much harder, I, in my opinion. It's, it's kind of hard without a Steam controller. So that's something to uh, that I uh, would recommend is getting a Steam controller if you're gonna have this. Now this first part of the game, it's just like loading stuff. I recorded uh, 60 FPS most of the time, and the thing I'll say about this is it's a little bit laggy, teensy bit, but I mean it just came out, so and uh, just starting to record, so that's why things might not be up to date. This is so weird, honestly, for me to be talking and recording like this. To, uh, doing a voiceover. I've done it once before, but not very much. Something else I wanted to say about this game, which is really amazing, is the fact that it's a massive full screen. So you can actually move that cursor that you see out of the way and take really good screenshots. I think in this part, I'm pretty much just running around and exploring a little bit. This actual recording is 31 minutes long, but I'm hoping to get it down to like 15. I know there's a bunch of stuff that it needs to be taken out of me, like freaking out because my, uh, when you hit like the WD, he doesn't move exactly the way you want him to, like, kind of like that actually. Yeah, I was supposed to jump up to the next ledge, not do that. So it doesn't move exactly the way you want it to, so it's a little bit difficult at times. Honestly, when I go through and like cut out stuff and check the volume and stuff like that from the final edit, I am hoping I don't have to change the music and sound effects that much because it sounds like it's good right where it is right now. That's a checkpoint, so if I die, then I'll just like respawn there. Yeah, there we go, just me. Turn everything down. I always turn the music down more, which I guess is okay. Can't do anything. Get away from there. I, I was so confused in this first part. Honestly, I actually played this game for two hours when it first came out, which to a lot of you hardcore Slime Rancher guys, you're probably like, yeah, that's that's nothing. But it's, uh, it's actually... Uh, two hours is about an average amount of gameplay for one game for me in one sitting. If I do more than three hours, I don't know, I just get aches and pains and whatnot. Lesson learned, don't go near those. Actually, something I learned about this is you can have two um, control setting schemes. One of which is where right click is to bring up a shield, which you actually have to buy. Oh, that came dangerously close to my face, that sword he has. 
Um, oh, sorry, I think I just bumped my mic. And uh, the right click will bring out the shield that you can buy, and then the other right click is he'll move the way wherever your cursor is pointing, which I think is really cool because when you're trying to do strategy, and, uh, like sneaking around, that kind of stuff, it comes in handy a lot, honestly. I am going to keep all this in, I think, just because it's it's really the first part, and it's, it's actually really cool. But there are other parts that I'm definitely going to be taking out. Like, I tried literally, like, 75 times to jump from one place to another, and it just would not work. And then I actually switched to my gaming keyboard, which the keys are set up a little bit differently, and it's arched in a, a different direction. Like, it's got a... um. It's got a wrist pad that brings your wrist up, and then the keys slope downward. There's only 47 on my gaming keyboard, by the way, so it's not like it's anything too huge. And I actually, after like 75 tries, I finally got up. The two, the three games this reminds me of is, for some reason, it reminds me of Slime Rancher. I guess it's just the way it looks. I I guess. And then another game it reminds me of. <clears throat> I'm just standing here because I'm taking screenshots. Because look, perfect screenshot for a thumbnail. No more t going off Google images and being like, I, I, I did this. It's mine. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, great for, uh, great for screenshots. Yeah, this is the part. You gotta jump up on that rock and then go around and a bunch of other crazy, terrible stuff. I will show you guys my first attempt at it. And then I spent like 35 minutes trying to get up the rest. It's just so much harder without a, without actual equipment. I mean, Steam Controller. But yeah, it reminds me of Slime Ranchers just a little bit, just because of the graphics. A little bit of ReCore, just because it's kind of one of those funky type games. And then the other game it reminds me of big time is Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Switch. It's honestly just like it. All the fighting styles, everything like that. I never played The Legend of Zelda, but... Nope, don't do that. <laughs> but even though I never played it, I saw gameplay, I think, from another YouTuber. Uh, obviously, where else am I supposed to watch it? I guess you could go on Twitch, but I'm not a big Twitch guy. Yeah, see, look how dangerously close I'm going. Yikes. I don't know how he regained his balance from there. I hope I can get this video ready to upload before I go to work because it's... Oh, it's actually 12 o'clock right now. I gotta leave at 12.30 and I still gotta get ready and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, I'm actually gonna cut this part out, guys, because it's pretty much just me jumping and failing. So I'll cut to you guys when I cut to ya. Yeah. So I did eventually get up there, guys. It wasn't like an extreme struggle, but dang, it was difficult. I don't know why my guy is still standing there. Nope, there he goes. Okay, good. Looks like I don't have to cut this part out because I've actually I actually cut out like five minutes already. So I think we're doing pretty good on time. We are 8 minutes in, that's okay, I don't want this video to be much longer than 15 minutes, 20 at tops, and that's because, for as far as file size goes, and a bunch of other stuff like that, it's just uh, too big and too long. Ooh, what do we do here? Hang on guys, I gotta sneeze. False alarm, I guess I don't have to sneeze. It looks like he's got another animal skull on his face. But what's that purple stuff, guys? Oh no! The music always gets like too loud at these dramatic points. Turn away, kids. And that's the opening. I was considering leaving the episode off here, but I feel like 
it's it would just be inappropriate for me to do that. It actually might it might be a decent idea for me to do, but oh, you can see my arm sitting there. But no, I decided, guys, that I was not gonna do that. I decided to record for even longer. I hope I can be done with this at like 12.15 because I need time to get ready for work because I gotta get going. Fortunately, I have a really short shift at, uh, at work today, guys, so it won't be that hard to go there and come back. It's only a couple of hours. He just rips his arm off like it's nothing. I guess that's the good thing about being a robot. Runic Games presents... Runic Games also came out with the Torchlight Games 1 and 2. I believe I took screenshots here, because doesn't this honestly look like the perfect place for screenshot? Actually, I think this is going to be the thumbnail right here. I took at least 15 screenshots. That was a quick reaction. He's like all scared, and then he's like, "Oh, well, actually, no. This is. I mean, this is it's pretty good. Hey, it's pretty good. Looks pleased with everything. Saving the game here. Uh, once again, I realized that I that I, I think the game's gonna do something for me, and they don't. It's just like gotta do it on my own." And then, this is the only time they actually let you go into this area. Of course, during loading screens, they give little hints. I know, I came out here and I was like, no. No. Are you kidding? I have to redo all that? Because, I mean, it was it's not really that hard or anything, but it's still kind of, like, tough. So I believe I don't really do anything at this point, so I think I'm going to actually edit this part out. Because there's not really much of anything going on, except for me maybe trying to get up this wall. So I'm going to cut to you guys once again when I cut to you, when I get to you. Normally, I don't like cutting huge parts out because it just goes to show like how useless all that stuff that I was doing actually was. A good move because in the game I, I heard it was really loud I'm glad I did that I'm probably actually gonna turn the sound effects down a little bit as well um, but it just goes to show how useless all that stuff was and how all my talking and jokes and trying to entertain you guys is just like not really even worth it but I guess that's why we edit honestly I feel more relaxed right now probably for two reasons one I've already recorded and two my little brother is playing World of Tanks, and my little sister's out, and those are the only people home right now, so, which, honestly, guys, that's, like, I mean, I talk to myself frequently, but that's something that is always bugged me about recording, is I've always had my family home, and I never really, like, uh, oh, the wind is blowing pretty hard outside, hopefully my mic doesn't pick that up, but anyways, guys, I, I've never really liked recording with people home, it always just kind of was, like, uncomfortable for me. Hello. Cool. Okay. What's this? Not half bad. Not half bad at all. Now it's controlling. Pulls me a sword out. Which goes to ashes and ruin. Or actually, I put one in. Those things, guys, the thing I just did is for me to put a sword in like that, and then once I put it all the way in, it gives, it, it gives me a sword. I, I don't know if what I just made just makes sense. You get pieces of a sword, and then you can actually put them into your forge, which is down in this realm, and then you can make a sword. So I'm halfway done with my second sword at this point, because I have multiple recordings of this game. See, there you go, he pays me the other two. And now I'm going to be able to craft a, for a uh, sword. And then I'm halfway done with the next sword, so it's going to give me another advancement. I've actually already done a bunch of advancements in this game, but I'm going to not say what they are. I'm going to let you guys see what they are. 
Okay, of course we'll interact. Show you guys this stuff. We can't really get anything. It just adds a third more powerful combo attack, powerful sprint attack, improved dodge, someone to shield from the arm. If I were you guys, and I mean, uh, I'm just a spoiler alert, I already got this, so I'm gonna shield from your arm once I get enough of this stuff, but maybe I shouldn't have spoiled it. The summon a shield from your arm is honestly extremely useful, especially when you're just like not really sure. Like, I'm more of an, uh, a defensive player. Good defense is a powerful offenser. I think that's how it goes. Maybe it's the other way around. No, it's definitely the way I said. Um. But I, I'm just that kind of player, so I, I value the shield a lot. I don't know how much of this I'll actually keep in, because we're at 15 minutes right now, and I'm looking at it, and it looks like we have another little over 10 minutes left. See, dramatic scenes like that always have really loud sound effects and the like volume for music. That's why I kept turning it down. And look, now ready, I got a, I got an upgrade for my Steam thingy for the game in Steam, and then it brings up the next sword advancement. This game's a lot of uh, running around, being cheeky, adventure, exploring little bit of attack, just enough to make it good, like, Slime Rancher wouldn't have been good if there weren't Tars, but then in the end, you didn't really, I actually found more trouble in Slime Rancher with the, uh, uh, the Phosphor Slime, not the Phosphor Slimes, um, what are they called? They're not Gordos. I think they're Lardos, the ones that are evil until you feed them, I found more trouble with them than the Tars, but I, uh, I think Slime Rancher was kind of a girly game, so a girly like or a little kids game, but I don't know. We built a built an audience off it, so I'm happy for that. Hopefully, I can build a bigger audience off this game as well. Pretty much, I just go around chopping down grass and other stuff right here. So I'm actually gonna edit all this stuff out because I just don't feel like it's necessary. It's pretty much just me exploring, me running around. I do kill myself a little bit. No big deal. I don't really accomplish anything from here, so I'm actually going to cut a lot of this stuff out, guys. But yeah, thanks for sticking with the video thus far. Pretty much just uh, went down there, looked around, really nothing happened. Right here is where the good stuff happens. There you go. Ten of those... What I'll just call like gems, I guess. It's it's gems make sense for an area like this, for a game like this. I mean, for it to be called gems because it seems like the old like ancient ways, the old gems of old. And then I'm pretty sure I actually just go and spend them. I'm mad at that bush for not letting me up. Then you get berries and stuff to heal yourself. I'm pretty sure I just ch chop down more trees and then go and spend this on a shield. So I'm actually going to cut to you guys once I do that. And the sound effects definitely need to be turned down more because that's kind of loud what's going on right here. But I'll be able to do that since this is a separate recording. So. Okay guys, so I'm just going to show you guys me busting open this. Pretty much, I just run around a ton. This video was going to be coming up under just under 4 seconds under 20 minutes. So I think this is a very successful first video. Death is going to add a little bit to my, more to my health. I just wanted to show you guys that so you knew. But I'm going to end this video here, guys. Actually, it's going to show me running around for a couple more seconds. I'm just going to end the video up here, guys, in a couple of seconds. Ready? It shows me running up here. Try to jump through the window. Nothing happens. I think I take a screenshot because that's honestly a really good looking screenshot. I'm not going to lie. Especially since, yeah, the, you can move the cursor. And I think the health bars will eventually disappear. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys liked this video. I'll definitely be doing more in this game. And there will be a teensy bit more to Slime Ranchers. There will be other games on the channel. But this is going to be mostly what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, guys, this is Big Peanut. <laughs> and I see I still have, like... A couple seconds left. I guess I'll just go end with this. <gasps> Goodbye.